Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is array? The set array elem or set array element node. I've gone ahead and created this quick little example, and let's run over how this works. So this is our set array elem node. We can access it by right clicking, typing in set array, and you'll find set array elem. Now by default, it's gonna be our wildcard version. It's gonna accept any array for our input type, and it's gonna change the item input to match the same type of array. String array, string input, etc. Now keep in mind, if you create the array using, if you create the set array element node using the array, it's going to go ahead and give you a direct input for the item type. So of course that is super handy. It's really handy with objects and classes because you'll get your nice, let's try that again. You'll get your nice little drop down for your different class type. So for example, what we're going to do is we have our int array. Our int array has six values from zero through five. Set array elem is going to let us change one of those directly into another number. Now, rather than removing, inserting, appending, set array elem lets us directly manipulate the array and replace one of the elements. That is something to keep in mind. This is a destructive change. We are going to actually change an element of the array. Now, while we are not changing the index, which is usually one of those real annoying issues when you're looping, we are changing a value, so try not to really screw with an original array when you're using it in a loop because you might get unexpected results. Modify a copy and then use the copy as your new version of your array once you're done with your loop. So let's go ahead and look at this. I'm going to change index 4 and I'm going to change it to nothing. And let's see what happens. If we run through this, to start off with, we've changed nothing so far. We have 0 through 5 in order. If we resume and pause after the set array elm node, we now have 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 5. If you look at index value of 4, it is now a value of 0. And that's what we've told it to do. Change index value of 4 to nothing. Nothing is going to be your default value for your type that you are changing for your array. It's going to be none if it's an object. It's going to be zero if it's an integer. It's going to be blank if it's a string. So that's how that works. Now let's see something else we can do. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and change something that was outside. We only have values from zero through five. Let's say we wanted to change six. We went ahead and ran it. Actually, let's change six to 99 so we know we're changing it. We'll go ahead and run it. Our original array is unaltered. We run our set array element node, and then we look at it. Well, we're still unaltered. We've gone ahead and told it to change something that is not valid inside of our array. We don't have an index 6. But that's what this checkbox is for. Let's go ahead and check size to fit, and we'll go ahead and run it again. We'll skip past our initial 0 check. We'll resume, and then we'll check out our new array. Now you can go ahead and see we have a value in there for index of six, and it's our 99 that we told it to. Size to fit is going to go ahead and expand the index if the current size of the array doesn't fit your new index you want to change. Keep in mind it's going to expand it appropriately. So if we set this to index of 10 and hit play, skip past and check, we're now going to see we actually have 11 values. Keep in mind index of 10 is going to be our 11th value, which unfortunately we can't see. It's indicated by the triple dot down there. Eh, you know what? Let's change this to index 8. That way we can see it. No reason not to do that. And we'll check out our array now. And there you can go. Now you can see index of 8, index of 8, value of 99. And anything that was in between that was not a valid index before the expansion is the default value. And in this case, the default value is zero because it's an integer. So there you go. It's a useful way of combining a bunch of different things. Maybe you have a hundred people in your class 
as 100 children in your school, for example. Each of them is assigned an index. Each of them has a value, maybe an object, a class, or a name. Now, you don't have them all at once. They're coming in piecemeal. Rather than trying to expand and remove and insert your array, maybe you just initialize your array to 100 entries. And then as you get your entries, you put them into the correct index out of order. So that's a use for the set array element. It allows you to replace things at a certain index or insert, remove, append things out of order. Keep in mind, this is not going to remove anything. It's going to replace it with a blank if you have nothing in there for the item value. It's not going to remove it. It's still going to keep it the same size. You can't reduce the size of an array with this, only expand. So that's it. That's what our set array element node is for. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.